Hi there, Dan West again. Um, about five years ago, I made a, a video, one of my first videos, and it was horrible. All I do is talk, listen to myself talk about bowling. It was about this lock mechanism I, I put on my back of my truck, a fiberglass top. On each end are these two, uh, like, like uh, secretarial locks, you know, uh, for, uh, for a desk, which are, are, are useless, really. And we had a lot of bowling equipment, so I, 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 I come up with an idea to really secure it now. If anyone who wants to get in, they're going to get in. But to get in this lock, they got to tear the thing up. they got to really make a lot of noise and really tear things up. So it's a pretty good deterrent, at least for an honest person. I didn't show any, any way how I put this thing together, so I'm going to make a new video for uh, cell block 185. Uh, he showed some interest in it. So cell block 185, here you go. Here's his video. What you can do is you want to you want to think about your, your, your tailgate. <clears throat> Here's the latch for most tailgates. What is in here? Because you're going to be drilling through the top, and you want to center this piece on the tailgate. Now, this truck has a liner in it, but uh, it's just, it's just there forever. So, what you can do is mark right on. I use a, a yellow bowling pencil, but you can put. If you got a nice, you know, painting job, or you can put uh, masking tape and shoot pencil. What you want to do is locate the center for this thing to be drilled in. And I use sheet metal screws. I drill a hole just uh, the size of the shaft, but the sheet metal just bites the metal. So how I located that, I, use, I have to have a level that you, it can be just straight as a board. Here's two pieces. The, the, here's, here's, the, here's the gate uh, handle, and here's the insignia of Ford. When I go up here, it does not have to be plumb, you know, straight around. It just has to be to where you can register off of something and measure from here to here. Now, what I like to do is take a piece of wood or something up against the straight edge and mark the center. That way there's no measurement involved. You, you, you take a little piece of wood and you mark that center on the piece of wood. And that way when you, when you, uh, what, what you're going to do is then you're going to locate your piece here where you're going to drill holes. But first, before you drill these holes, you want to come down here, the lid now, go up against those two pieces. I'm not touching the, 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 the top here, see? So this is still a good registered uh, straight edge. And take your, either your measurement or your piece of wood and on your, on your masking tape here again, if you want. I, again, I use a yellow pencil. Mark the center. You mark the center, and then you measure the width of this piece here, and the length of it, and you cut your your, your fiberglass. You drill drill two holes or drill three holes, whatever, and you know, and cut it out that way. Uh, you can use any, any number of ways of, 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 of cutting it. You can use a, a saber saw with a fine blade. You know, just prop this up a little bit so the, so the blade won't, won't hit the bottom. Uh, they have, you know, real fine skinny blades will go in a, a drilled hole. And then, when you got the hole drilled, your, your, your slot, okay, you come back with this piece here, you've already laid out where the center is, you drill these four, this usually has four holes on these things, drill four holes the size of the shaft only for the sheet metal screw. Now, let me back up a minute. You can go on YouTube, whatever truck you have, and take a look at this tailgate. You need like to repair or replace the handle, and it'll show you exactly what's in here. These bars happen to be way back here, so I got all kinds of room here, so there was nothing in, uh, in my way. And that's how you you find out what the, what's clear or what's in the way. I happen to have nothing in the way. So after you you know satisfy yourself with that, you've got your layout here. You drill your four holes, put your uh, sheet metal screws in there. Bring this piece down nice and gently. Make sure you know your, your, your slot was well. And what I used was some diamond plate. Now, you can go to any hardware store and they get a small piece of diamond plate. This, I think it would have to be, I think probably aluminum, I think, which is a diamond plate, uh, like a, it's not steel at all. And uh, I drilled uh, four small holes and I used. Uh, a type of uh, see that a 
type of a sheet metal screw, self-tapping sheet metal screw. Not particularly this size, but uh, do a four holes. I think I also put, I may have put some double back tape down there. I, I'm not sure, I might have it. But I had cut the diamond plate to fit this, this slot, drilled four holes. So I'm going into the fiberglass. And that's it, man. Nowadays, they have these padlocks. They're all all cased, you know, uh, with, with, with rubber. Now, I know I mentioned before in other videos, some, some master locks, in case are a big deal. <laughs> the guys the guys get these locks no matter what. So, you know, um, again, if a thief wants to get in there, they're going to get in there. But the, it, it keeps the honest man out. And we used to have a lot of expensive bowling equipment back here, at tournaments, what have you. So uh, these, these, these things were always coming apart, these, these cabinet locks, you know. So that's basically it. You know, it's not really a, a hard deal to do. It takes, you know, just a few I'm not thinking a few minutes, but you know, it's gonna take maybe an hour, something like that, maybe whatever. But again, you find out what you can register off of, off your back tailgate. Even if you got maybe have to put a let's say let's say smooth. And you what you what would you want to do is you don't want to hit your 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 top here so you can have a good measurement. Maybe put some uh, little blocks with uh, uh, double back tape. Okay? Just so you can have something to measure off of. It doesn't have to be straight, you measure off here to the top of your tailgate, and also take that same measurement to the top of your your your, 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 your lid here, your top here. I hope that's, uh, that helps and it's clear, you know. Uh, it, again, it's just not really difficult, but it really works. I mean, I put this little piece of diamond plate because the, the, the lock I had before was, you know, metal. And I thought it would bounce around and, you know, maybe mar up. Shoot, that thing never moved. <laughs> it really, I was surprised it never moved. Of course, it's a nice truck. But now, like I can say, they have these master locks with this encased in rubber, so it's pretty nice. Even a lock is covered with water to get in there. So, um, still block uh, 185. I hope this helps you, man. Um, uh, you showed interest, and, uh, you know, and yeah, that was a horrible video, but I was just learning, and uh, uh, I hope we get make them better now, so. If I've missed something, by all means, let me know and I'll come back. But I think I've got everything straight, you know. These two points again on the tail on the tailgate are beyond the face of this lid. So when I put a, a straight edge, it doesn't have to be a level. I'm not concerned about being plumb. I just want something straight, consistent, so I can measure from here to the tailgate and from here, transfer that measurement from the tailgate to the top. That's all you need to know, center of your of, of your of your, um, your tailgate. And now you can lay out your your pieces, drill them, whatever, you know. Hope that works. I tell you what, this is not a bad idea. It, it, it worked for us and uh, it's simple. I'm look how, how much money got it. Screws, padlock. The most expensive thing is a piece of diamond plate and, and, and you can get them at like a do it center or something you just you know, one by one, two by two, you know, a throwaway piece. But again, you may not even want to use it. If you can use a, a lock that's rubber coated, you don't even need it, you know? So that's it. Um, as far as any leaking that might be a concern, uh, we, we just put a little piece of uh, weather stripping around the inside. Never leak, no problem, as far as rain coming down here. So if that might be an issue, thinking on the, on the underside of the lid, you just put uh, some, some weather stripping and when it comes down, it compresses. You know, so it's sealed, okay? Hope that helps you. Oh, uh, cell block 85. <laughs> hope you didn't have to do some, hope you didn't have to do some hard time, man. <laughs> but uh, have a, have a good time. And, uh, as always, like I always say, you know, uh, of course this is not woodworking, but, uh, I'm usually a woodworker. Uh, have a good time in the shop, work safe, and don't use any putty, okay? There's my email address at the bottom. If you have any questions, uh, you go ahead and email me and uh, I'll answer. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good time. And it didn't rain today, so uh, weather's kind of bad, but uh, uh, it's working okay. So uh, catch you later. Bye-bye. You know, it just occurred to me that I'm talking about locating the center of the tailgate, but I'm 
I'm still not clear on how you're going to locate with a hasp on top of the, uh, the slot, the fiberglass. So bear with me. Uh, you know, it's I almost had to take the thing apart to, to redo everything, but uh, I think I can explain it this way. When you're taking your straight edge, uh, I, I mentioned about using a board. I think a little piece of board is better. You can even just, just take a piece of board uh, with your straight edge and then where it clears the top of your fiberglass, screw it on this piece of wood you know, or clamp it to your to your, uh, your your level. But that way you don't have to, you just put it up there with one hand and the other hand, you can make your mark. Now, I would also make probably some masking tape or something where on your tailgate you make two marks to where your board can align perfectly up and down straight so that way you've got a locating uh, area for your board to be struck up and down straight up and down and you're gonna have this piece of wood so you can make your mark on it from the from the tailgate center your tailgate and transfer that mark to the top of your fiberglass now, I know there's going to be a little spacer between the fiberglass and your tailgate, but I mean, I'm sure you can work that out. I mean, you're going to measure that with your ruler or whatever, make a mark on the roof, and then just transfer that line onto another piece of block or something, you know, so you can mark it on your wood. And then you take, again, you take that piece, close your lid, and you mark the tailgate. Now, you've got, you've got your fiberglass lid marked to the center. This is what you do. <clears throat> this is how you locate that slot. You put your hasp on there, and you lay it dead center, you know, straight and everything, and you, you can mark, you can make lines go the full length and past uh, the width on both sides of the hasp, and then front and back of the hasp, again, long lines. Then when you take it off, you continue those lines where they were blocked by the, by the base of your hasp, and where those lines intersect, that is your slot. Now, you cut that slot however you so many ways you cut a slot. That's what I think is you, you, you drill a hole, use a very fine uh, uh, saber saw blade, you know, jig saw, whatever. Uh, that's the easy way to me, but you know, however you want to do it. Cut that slot and then use a file to get it nice and clean, clean cut, and give it some, some room. And now you've got your slot already cut because you laid out, you laid out the exact center from the tailgate. Put some, put the slot, the, the, the uh, <clears throat> that piece back in the slot with some double back tape at the bottom. Hold it as you close the lid and it comes down. And then as it comes down, press it nice and center in your slot onto the tailgate and then gently lift the tailgate up off that ring. And now it's located dead center where you want to locate that uh, that piece onto your tailgate. And that's where you make your mark or drill your holes, whatever you want to do, your pilot holes, whatever you want. You've got it dead in that center. Uh, there's no measurement or nothing. It, it came down with the slot you already established from the center line that you got from the, from the back of the tailgate. Put your, put your sheet metal screws in there, your flashing, and man, you're done. That's it. Uh, sorry, you know, I didn't, get that explained better in the video, but uh, you know, without having to take the whole thing apart and redo everything, uh, I think this is pretty self-explanatory. <clears throat> Mainly about using the board and screwing a piece of wood onto it so you, you can handle that with one hand and make your mark with the other hand instead of fumbling around with a measuring tape or a ruler. And then, you, <clears throat> again, you transfer that mark onto the top of your fiberglass. And once you get that center line, that center line corresponds to the center of your, your tailgate. Now you can take that hasp and move it any place you want. Once you make that slot, you're going to put your hasp back up in the slot with the old back tape under it, set it back down on your tailgate. Boom, that's it. So there's no no worry about, well, gee, where's that, how's that slot going to, because you're going to cut the slot first and then put your hasp up and through that slot that has double back tape at the bottom of it, close your lid, press it onto your tailgate, boom, it's dead nuts. Dead nuts corresponds to your lid, okay? So I hope that helps you. Uh, again, there's my email at the bottom in case you want to yell at me. <laughs> Tell me, I, I still it's confusing, but uh, 
uh, I think that covers it pretty good now. And uh, with that, I hope it helps you. And uh, again, thanks for uh, being interested in your comments. And uh, I was finally, I was able to work out problems on this end with uh, these other apps that I had. And, and so I got the video up and running and it's, it's gonna, it's gonna be there for you now today. And uh, I hope it helps you. Take care, uh, C Block, 185, <laughs> 1885, 1985, whatever. Uh, good talking to you. And, uh, let me know how it comes out. Uh, if it comes out bad, don't, don't call me. <laughs> okay. You take care, man. Take care. Have a good time. Bye bye.